Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And today somebody asked me a while ago to compare the differences and similarities between acrylic, watercolor, and gouache paint. So I got three stitches here on watercolor paper. Let's go ahead and compare those three types of paints. Let's start with gouache. Coming straight from the wonderful world of Wikipedia, <laughs> the definition of gouache is gouache body color or opaque watercolor is one type of water media paint consisting of natural pigment, water, a binding agent, usually gum arabic, or dextrin, I don't know if I said that right, and sometimes additional inert material. Gouache is designed to be opaque. Gouache has considerable history going back over 600 years. It is used mostly consistently by commercial artists artists for posters, illustrations, comics, and other design work. Gouache is similar to watercolor in that it can be re-wetted, it dries to a matte finish, and the paint can become infused with its paper support. It is similar to acrylic or oil paint in that it is normally used in an opaque painting style. It can be it can form a superficial layer. Many manufacturers of watercolor paints also produce gouache and the two easily can be used together. I know, that was a whole lot of words. Anyways, now I'm going to tell you about my experience with gouache. I think a lot of you have been following me for a while, so you know that I was originally a watercolor artist. So I was into watercolor a lot. And I actually wanted to try gouache after looking at uh, Leanne He, I think that's her name. She's like the Disney artist that does a lot of gouache paintings. So I looked at her stuff and I saw that she was using Turner acrylic gouache. Now, I bought Turner acrylic gouache and it wasn't the best experience for me. So I wrote off gouache altogether. And then Arteza reached out to me a couple years ago and they asked if I could review their gouache and I saw that it wasn't an acrylic gouache. So when I tried Arteza's brand of gouache, it was a lot like watercolor I saw. It was more manipulated by water. And when I say manipulated by water, a lot of paints, of course, watercolor being the top paint that you can manipulate manipulate with water just because you know you got your blobs and everything all the knowledge that I had for watercolor I applied to gouache with ease I mean there's different ways to shade and highlight and that's the thing about shading um, I found that I could do this approach with gouache I mean I kind of do it with acrylic but with gouache I try to stay away from like blacks and browns for my shading and um, lining all together. I don't really like to line a lot of my gouache paintings. So if you follow me on Instagram, you see my gouache paintings that I make. I try to stay away from lining as much. So that means like actually taking a black fine tipped paintbrush dipped in black paint of gouache paint. I try to stay away from that and I try to use like the darker colors that are complementary to what I think the color of the shadows are being. So for example if you look at Stitch right now you can see his arms and his legs have that dark blue underneath him for the shading so things pop a little bit more and I find that that using that kind of type of illustration I don't know. <laughs> Just that technique of using those darker shadows. Um, they really, it really pops on gouache. I have not found this with acrylic. Acrylic, I try to do a little bit more lining. I try, if once you see that I'm after this painting, when I'm done with this one, you're, we're gonna jump right into acrylic paint. And you're gonna see that acrylic paint and gouache both have that matte finish. So it's like flat, it's not glossy. And you look at it, and you can almost look at the two and think, goodness, are these two different types of mediums? They look exactly alike. The thing about acrylic is it's a lot more um, built up, so the te there's more of a texture with acrylic paint. When you look at gouache, gouache is kind of a flat thing. And when you look at watercolor, you can look at watercolor and you can see the blobs on top of blobs if you layer it co correctly from the beginning. If you start with that process I've taught before, if you start with like a first layer, let it dry, second layer, let it dry, third layer, let it dry, and then start going in and adding more details to your watercolor, you can tell when you're looking at watercolor. And you can tell when you're looking at an acrylic painting because of the texture, but gouache is kind of just a flat, kind of medium and it's really it's really fun to play with and you can see um yeah see the linings how I try really hard I try hard not to use like the final distal lining but 
You can see where I have to obviously use it like under his legs and stuff for just a little bit more definition. We are back with the wonderful world of Wikipedia. Definition of acrylic paint is a fast drying paint made of pigment suspended in acrylic polymer. Mm -mm -mm <laughs> acrylic paints are water soluble but become water resistant when dry. Depending on how much the paint is diluted with water or modified with acrylic gels, mediums, or pastels, the finished acrylic painting can resemble a watercolor, a gouache, or an oil painting, or have its own unique characteristics not attainable with other media. I mean, that's kind of confusing, right? Because here is another kind of paint that can mimic another kind of paint. I think, honestly, the only kind of paint you can look at and you can say, dang, that is not that. It's watercolor, because you can always look at a watercolor painting. Oh, I don't know, because even gouache can mimic watercolor, but it's just, it's infinite infinite uses. I know it's confusing, but when I can, if I walk up to a painting or a museum or something, acrylic paint, I can always tell what's oil, what's acrylic, and what is watercolor or gouache. I don't see many gouache or um, watercolor paintings in person, but I see tons of oil and acrylic. Now, you can already see from here, I was talking about texture. You can see that with the layers that I'm putting on top of Stitch right now with this acrylic paint, you can see the paint rising so you can see that texture now with acrylic paint i have been an acrylic paint artist since i can remember that's where i where you all started in high school middle school grade school learning how to use acrylic paint and using it for our projects and art classes or just in general in your own house let's say you got a big art kit full of acrylic paints it's just a great it's a good way to start. And I honestly use the craft, like Apple Barrel craft paints. It's acrylic paint, it does the same thing. That's all I'm using on this one for a little stitch. So you see, gouache and acrylic are both matte. You can see that they are very matte looking. The only difference is you can see that it is rising up the texture. The layers are actually rising up. I don't really see that, like I said earlier, on gouache paintings. I can see a little bit of the texture, but with acrylic, you can just definitely tell you can run your hands across it and feel that texture. And it's just so aesthetically, wonderfully pleasing. <laughs> but acrylic is once, if you mess up or you want to start all over, you cannot manipulate it with water like gouache and watercolor you can kind of like grab your water and put it on top of your gouache or watercolor and you can kind of move the water around grab a paper towel pick it up and start all over on a piece that you want to redo with acrylic paint you can't do that you have to go and grab like your white or whatever color that you want to go over where you messed up and you have to go in and you have to go over it that's the big difference once you mess up on acrylic paint, you gotta grab the white paint and go over it. That's one huge difference. Now, watercolor. Let's talk about that one. All right, big words here. Bear with me, people. <laughs> watercolor, also aquarelle. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is a painting method in which the paints are made of pigments suspended in water-based solution. Watercolor refers to both the medium and the resulting artwork. Aquarelles. <laughs> They do it with water soluble colored ink instead of modern watercolors are called aquarellum. Big words. <laughs> However, it's termed this can be more and more passing of use. The traditional most common support material to which the paint is applied for watercolor paintings is watercolor paper. That's the thing, guys. Watercolor does not work well unless it's on a watercolor paper. I don't know how many times I have to stress that. Watercolor will not look good on computer paper. And it, you know, I've kind of used it on Bristol board paper, but it's not the same. Watercolor thrives on watercolor paper. It was built for it and it really brings out all the beautiful techniques of watercolor. So you can see, I did my layers on top of layers on top of layers technique that I've taught on before. And you can see, y there's no mistake, you look at this, 
it's watercolor. You can tell. You can tell it's watercolor just because you can see where the puddles were of water. And that's what's magical about watercolor. So you can't really see that with gouache. You kind of can if you were to just leave it alone and not do any layers with it. And you just started with like a lot of watered down gouache. You can get that technique, but you really can't get it like you can with watercolor. And you can just tell with the watercolor blobs and how you shade. And obviously I'm, I'm lining with my black pencil, that technique that I've taught on before. I just love using my black pencil to highlight it. It's a great illustration medium. All of these are great illustration mediums, but now looking at all of them, you can see the differences in their own kind of special way. And I added flowers too, to show you the differences between the watercolor flowers and the gouache flowers. But they're all really different. But in a lot of ways, they're a lot, of, they're, they're the same, which is really weird. <laughs> but I mean, how cool is it to try all three mediums and you get to see their similarities and you get to see their differences and then you get to choose which one you like most or maybe you like them all in my opinion i love them all i love all three of these type of mediums and if you haven't tried them yet you definitely need to I hope this video helped. I kind of wanted to bring like a little bit of light to what are the differences between acrylic, gouache, watercolor, should you try them, of course, and what to kind of look at or look for when you're trying each different type of paint. If you're a watercolor artist, I mean, goodness, you should absolutely try gouache. Me as an artist, I actually want to try to invest in Turner acrylic gouache once again to try to give it one more chance because I told you I got scared on the Turner acrylic gouache. I was scared of acrylic gouache and I got a more simple kind of brand of gouache paint. So that's my goal as an artist to get used to the acrylic gouache because that's a whole other different type of game apparently. And I'd love to compare those two next time. I'd love to compare an acrylic gouache compared to a regular gouache. I think that'd be a fun video. But yes guys, I hope this is helpful and I hope you all have a most wonderful day. Bye!